one of our geologists, Perry, he, he jokes around sometimes about winning the Prospector of the Year award. So if Perry gets that award, then everyone's happy. You know, we're uh... talking to QMED here and Richard out of Canada, Quebec. Richard, lithium, copper, nickel, cobalt, zinc, PG, gold, you've got it all. Your elevator pitch, please. Yeah, I mean, we're a diversified mining company with our operations uh, primarily based in Quebec, Canada. Gold and lithium projects, copper. I mean, we're a very robust company. Our market cap is, uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunity here from a stock price and market cap standpoint. Usually if you're buying a home or buying a stock or any type of investment, you you know, you don't want to be buying at the very high. So it's an opportunity here for investors if they look at our share price and they can see that. So I would say it's a good cha good time to buy it. Yeah, I'm looking at your market cap uh, of, of under 2 million Canadian right now and the number of properties you have. I mean, what's the rationale behind it uh, that you already have so many different projects? I understand, of course, it gives you uh, a lot of uh, flexibility in terms of the macro trends. Um, you started off in the gold sector, you then moved more into the battery metals, into the space that's relevant for decarbonization. Could you talk us through a bit about what's the rationale here? Yeah, definitely. You're right. We do have some gold projects and, and we've had them uh, for quite a few years now. And then, But as this uh, big movement and transition to clean energy around the world is has really gained momentum. We, you know, we threw our hat into the ring into the battery metal space, and we acquired some lithium projects in Quebec. And uh, I mean, we just had a recent acquisition actually just this week, which is very brand new news up in the James Bay area. And I'm sure everybody knows about Patriot and Lift Power and all those big uh, big companies and up there and uh, one of the biggest lithium deposits in the world. Uh, PMAT just came out with. So we're, we're right right in that neighborhood with all those guys. Also, the North American lithium mine just went back into production in Valdor. And that's where our second lithium project is just a few kilometers away from, from the, the North American lithium mine. So our two flagship projects are just, you couldn't ask to be in a better uh, area. Thank you very much, Richard. Uh, talking about stages, um, you've already done some surface sampling. So uh, drilling season 23 ahead. What is in for us shareholders? What are we due to expect in terms of news flow over the next six months? I mean, now that our acquisition is out there in the in the open, everybody knows about it. So we can uh, now start exploring and, and, and getting the drill permits in place. And uh, as, as you guys know, that getting drill permits is, is not a very long process in Quebec. So we can have those pretty, fairly quickly into the summer and fall here. We're going to be ramping up on expiration. And then the beautiful thing is once you get into the winter months, that's when you can just really keep going because the, the actually the busiest time for drilling in Quebec is the winter time. So it's from a timing standpoint, it's 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 good right now for, for new shareholders and for us as a company to get active. And a quick follow up question on that, because, of course, for exploration, you just invest a couple of million dollars and then you get a massive resource, hopefully as a reward. But what is the long term plan of the company beyond that? Uh, will you develop all these different projects into actual mines? Are you planning to spin them off? What is the what is the long term rationale? Well, I would say myself and our geologists we we're we are like sort of old school uh we're prospecting and, and trying to make a discovery and and uh, advance the project and and build the resource out and then if if somebody if somebody wants to come along and 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 build a mine and permit a mine that could be take a five to ten year process from, to actually go into production so i would say that would i would hand it off maybe to other people that are more capable of doing that i think making a discovery and advancing our project and building out a resource is that's in my prospector or one of the sorry or one of our geologists perry he, he jokes around sometimes about winning the prospector of the year award so if perry gets that award then everyone's happy you know we're uh the shareholders are happy i'm happy everyone's happy so that's really what we're we're, we're out there in the with our rolling our sleeves up out there trying to make a discovery